Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Andrew. Bill is not with us today. He's still recovering, but he'll be back very soon. Andrew, what we're talking about today is, I did a video not that long ago about is Florida turning into New York, all right? Because it's everybody you talk to is like, where are you from? New York, where are you from? New York, you know, or okay. Jersey or whatever. But yeah, tri-state area basically. Yeah, yeah, but mostly in New York, okay? So what we're going to talk about today is I'm originally from New York. Everybody knows Ange. Who they, he's, his name is Andrew, but everybody calls him Ange. Is from... Same thing. Originally grew up... We grew up in the same, same town. Blocks away from each other. Yeah, in a place called Island Park, New York, next to Long Beach on Long Island. That's where I grew up, and that's where Ange grew up, too. So this video is about why did we even move to Florida in the first place? Okay, so, and this is an important video because, you know, a lot of people from moving from California here, you know, the Midwest here, from Connecticut, Pennsylvania, there's, there's reasons why you want to move to Florida. So, is this a positive video? Yeah, it's kind of a positive. I know we've been doing some negative videos because we're trying to, you know, state the facts of what's going on right now with Florida, with all the hurricanes and everything, but there's good reasons why i'm going to be here in florida probably the rest of my life yes i'm going to travel and i'm going to go abroad and check things out but but at the end of the day i've lived in many states you lived in california i lived in colorado wyoming maine new hampshire new york and florida is and i'll tell you wait till the end of the video i'll tell you why my biggest reasons i'm moving to florida is in the meantime do me a favor consider subscribing it really helps that the channel is greatly appreciated so, Ange, me and you grew up in, in Island Park, New York. Okay, what, what is one of the reasons why you left New York? Okay. Well, what, what didn't you like about New York? Let's just, you know. What, we, oh, man, what didn't? It would be easy to ask me what I liked hey, about New York. So, <laughs> so the, the reason why I, we could talk about New York and why we left is because we're both, at the end of the day, we're both New Yorkers. You probably can still hear the accent. Oh, us. yeah. So what, what did you like about New York? Put it this way. And I, we, when you say New York, we really talk about Long Island because that's where we grew up in. Long Island was pretty cool. But back when we were there, it was. I don't know what it's like today. Um, but How long have you been gone? Uh, 25 since, years? Since 1997, 98. All right. I left in 89, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So but what, what was the biggest thing that you, you didn't like about New York? Uh, the people. Okay. I really, I really, I mean, our friends were cool, all that kind of stuff. But it's like when you, you could just go for one town and you were getting in a fight for doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's our teenage years, I think you're talking about. But, but even growing, even getting older, like I remember when I, when I worked in New York for a number of years and like, you know, just the rudeness and getting on the subway and just the insanity of it and how, let's be honest, it was dirty back then as it is today. You know, it was just it, so. Do you guys? Do you guys think New York? The people are rude in New York. I could ask that question. Okay, my opinion is, I mean, friends-wise, like you said, I literally have the same friends oh, since, yeah. since I was in kindergarten. Yep, true. We do. Yeah, I added a few friends, but most of my friends have have known me since I was like six years old. But we're now. This is weird. We're a rarity about that, and I never knew that. I thought is everyone, it? yeah. Because I've talked to people, like, when I went to California and I met people, and they don't talk to, like, they have college friends, but no high school friends. We have kindergarten, into college, you know, after, you know, adult life friends. Like, we've never lost connections. And we actually all still get together and hang out and do things, whether it's once or twice a year. But, like, you and me get together a lot more than, say, the average person, maybe. Well, here in Florida, believe it or not, we could actually have a reunion here in Florida, just in our area. So many people within three towns, within three towns, <laughs> because of where we are in Tampa Bay. We have so many people from Island Park that we grew up with, that we went to school with, yeah. that we're still friends with, live here. One of one of my friends literally lives around the block. She lives around the block. Oh, you know Nina. Yeah, you better. I met I, who, who lived around the block from me back in Long Island. Yeah, <laughs> she lives around the block from me. And she's actually friends with Tanya. But isn't that weird? We were like, like you'll see pictures of um, first grade or second grade. I forgot of me and Nina in the class. Yeah. And now she, 
that's not a small world it is. You know, you know what's funny too? I was I was talking to someone the other day, uh, a buddy of mine in LA, and he's uh, he's always been single, and you know he's talking he was talking about girlfriends. And he started naming his girlfriends, all the girlfriends he had in life, you know, all the girls I've loved before routine. And I started thinking about it and I was like, you know, like how many girlfriends I had. And, you know, I have more ex-girlfriends living in Florida than I do in New York or California. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. They, everyone's moved here. Everybody's moved here. All right. So that's one of the reasons you didn't like the people. Me, I like the people... But maybe you're right. Maybe in certain areas, you know, I was a little more cautious of, you know, approaching people, you know, of certain areas. I was I was more cautious. All right. So did you, is that the only reason you left New York? No, I couldn't stand. Like I used to, you know, coming from Long Island, I, I had to work in Manhattan, uh, New York City, and I hated getting on the railroad and stuff. And I was in the entertainment industry. The Long Island Railroad. Yeah, yeah. And I was in the entertainment industry doing, you know, television commercials, TV shows. And if you're going to do that, you're really, if you're going to make your name, you're going to make your mark, you got to go to Los Angeles. So many years ago, I moved out to, you know, Hollywood. I didn't, I didn't live in Hollywood. I lived in the San Fernando so Valley. What was, so what was the reason that you had to get a train and you left New York? Oh, oh I hated it. I hated taking the train. Or, or and, is uh, it because the, more the, opportunity for your industry? Well, outside. I, I could have had good opportunity in New York if I wanted to stay there. But I was tired of like the, the two hour commute in one direction. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then two hours coming home. When I moved to California, I could get to any studio from where I lived in under 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, and even if, and because doing what I did, I'd spend, you know, 12, 14 hours a day on a, a TV set or in an editing bay. And, you know, you don't want to have to go, oh, no, I got to run to Penn Station, catch a train, 45, 50 minutes to get home. And, you know, next thing you know, it's one in the morning. And then you got to get up at 6 a.m. and do it all over again. So basically, the rat race because oh, that, yeah, that's one the of the worst. reasons that's one of the reasons i left uh new york is, there's no five o'clock in new york there's no five o'clock in new york exactly yeah. it, was, it was a big big rat race i mean you know we, when i had to go i worked on the north shore i lived on the south shore along around i had to take you know the meadowbrook and i knew i was gonna be sitting in traffic yeah it was just it was like groundhog day every day yep and that's a perfect um, example and i'll explain to everybody the biggest reason i moved to florida towards the end of the video but, okay, so basically we agree with that. What's, a, what's another reason? Um, it was extremely expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, like, like a really crazy expensive. So, but, but at the same time, you know, living here in Florida is just becoming just as expensive <laughs> as it was well, in New York. But ba see, back in, like, you know, we're talking like in the early 90s, you know, you're, you're kind of getting yourself into the adult world, setting yourself up. If you wanted to buy a house in Long Island, you were going to spend several hundred thousand dollars for practically nothing uh, and still have to pay, you know, insane property taxes and every other tax in the world. You know, just the, the ticket for the Long Island Railroad, when you added it up, you had, you had to be making like 500000 a year to really survive in that place. And anyone making less is just barely getting by. And like I bought my house here in Florida years ago. Like when, when I bought my house, uh, it was a Florida Expo at Nassau Coliseum and it was 1987. And I was just out of college and I got lucky, was making some good money for a young guy doing what I did. But I was putting in the hours, that's why I was making the money. And you know, bought the house, came down to Florida with my dad and put the down payment on the house and just paid the mortgage on it for the next, you know, 15, 18 years it was. Uh, and I only had, my house was a hundred and, if I remember correctly, 126,000. Is it the same house you have now? Yeah, same house I have now. My house is gorgeous. I'm on a half acre of land, beautiful interior. The outside is gorgeous. I mean, I kept it up. It was, it's very well maintained. Mm -hmm. And my mortgage was, was literally for all those years after dropping, I think I put 40,000 down on it or something. My mortgage was uh, $630, if I'm correct, which was so, affordable. So, so basically you, you, this, one of the big reasons was ex it was expensive. I agree with you. See, I was looking into the future. Like, where am I going to be in 30 years, maybe? No, I mean, that's that's important. And I, only, I learned it from my dad, you know? You know, one one of the biggest um, thing with me leaving New York is, and I'll tell you exactly what I miss in New York, too, but one of the biggest things me leaving in New York was I felt like when October hit, it was always dark and gloomy oh. and cold. You know, the kind of cold that goes through you. Yeah. And it was getting dark at 4.30. And, you know, I, I 
And that started in October and went all the way to like almost May. Yeah, and me, I had a vitamin D deficiency. I had the know? same issue. You know, and it, it's a real thing, you know. I, I literally we, I literally went to the doctor. He says, yeah, you have a lack of vitamin D. Get some sun lamps, this and that. And what do I do? I moved to Maine, which is even worse, and then New Hampshire, which is even worse, <laughs> you know. And then, so, but then I moved down to Florida, and, it, you know, I'm outside all the time, and... It, you know, it went away. So, well, I had the same issue. And then when I moved to like, I used to get not depressed, but you'd kind of be like bummed out and like no energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Low, you low. just wanted to sleep yeah. and eat and do all and that stuff. When, and when I moved to Los Angeles, it was like almost overnight. I, people were like, yo, is this guy got ADD? We can't calm him down. And I was just on a roll all the time. Yeah. Because the weather is beautiful in yeah. Los Angeles all the time. No humidity, even when it's 99 degrees out, humidity is 30%, you know? You know, a lot of our friends are going to watch this video and they're going to blast us. And oh, say, we're going to get hell for this one. So. Yeah. So, but here's here's uh, one thing I do miss about New York and Long Island. I miss the food. I really, really miss the food. Like, growing up on Long Island, New York, Queens, all that area, you literally could go to any diner and just sit down. You don't have to look at the menu. No, you knew exactly what you You know you exactly wanted. what you want. You say, hey, give me a cheeseburger deluxe, and it's always Cheese perfect. Cheeseburger deluxe. Do you remember those? Standard. Standard. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what diner it is. It's standard. That's it. You, you know, know fries, onion rings, coleslaw, pickles. The the food, the food was incredible. I, I, I wish we had a diner here. Like, oh, like, like, like the equivalent of that, yeah. Yeah, oh my like God. Oceanside Diners. Anything, like you know what I'm and saying? And they're open Limbrook 24 hours a day, so like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, you're out having a good time. Oh. And then you're just like, all right, we're going to the diner. Yep, and the diner would be packed. Oh, yeah. Packed with people. And not just that. Sometimes you would have to leave the diner because you couldn't even get a parking spot, and you drive just a half mile down the road to the next diner. Yeah, like Limbrook Diner or something, <laughs> yeah, Rockwell like, Diner, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean... So, but yeah, there's a lot of reasons, you know, to, you know, and nowadays, you know, a lot of people are moving because let's, let's just say it, it, politics. Oh yeah. Yeah. Big, big time politics problem. And I don't believe, you know, in this politics f feud between the Republicans and the Democrats, because we all live in the same country. You know, I'm a big believer that we should just work together and solve issues, but it's just, it, it's it's getting to the extreme. The oh, politics yeah, in New York. They've drawn a line in the sand the way it is. It's like I mean, literally insane. Long Island, believe it or not, especially Suffolk and Nassau is more Republican. And then and in New York City, the five boroughs is all Democrat. And where yeah. does all like my I've been saying this for the last as long as I've been alive, pretty much that I understood that Long Island should be its own state. You know, it shouldn't be part of New York. Well, I think that. Because like, all the money that goes into New York pretty much comes from Long Island. Well, I'm a big believer in saying, and people from upstate New York, I always believe there was two New Yorks. Upstate New York. Yep. And then the five boroughs in Long Island. Yeah. I always believe there was two different kinds of New York. Because the people from upstate New York are totally different. And I used to spend a lot of time in upstate New York to visit some people in Syracuse, you know, the college there. But now they're all moving down here to Florida, and, and a lot of people from you know that are born and raised in Florida are getting pushed out because to them, the New Yorkers they're like, oh yeah, I was paying fourteen thousand dollars a year in property taxes, and now I'm in now I'm in Florida and I'm paying eight thousand, so that's great. Oh yeah, they they think that you know it's because they have that New York money, but eventually that New York money runs, runs out. out. Yep, <clears throat> it certainly does. Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, that New York money runs out, and it's it's a... Um, and you'll get whacked here harder, too, because hurricane rolls in, and you don't got hurricane insurance, and you get damage, and hurricane insurance is expensive here, and it's only going to get more expensive, and that's even if you can get it, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, and don't, you know, New York, we've had hurricanes Dude, in New York. You don't even go back to New York to visit anymore, do you? No, I hate that place. <laughs> that's a strong word. I hate I, it. I got my whole family that still lives there, so I, I go back. I hate it. Why? Uh, it is oh, like I was trying to get him to like, hey, let's go to New York and do some videos up in New York. And he's like, no, let's go down to the Keys. Yeah. Oh, I would love to go to the Keys and do videos, but not New York. I don't even want to go to Long Island. I don't want to be. You still have a house in Long Island. I do. And if I could sell it, 
I would in a heartbeat. Does anybody I, want to buy a house in Island Park that flooded? I, I, you know, exactly. Because <laughs> you, you, if I was put this way, Sandy, if if I was to sell my house and someone's got to get a mortgage, they're not going to be able to afford the flood insurance, which means they get no mortgage. So it's like I, you know, like I just paid. Well, I didn't pay. My brother did because we kind of. It was the house that we grew up in, so... Yeah, because he's going to see this video. Yeah, and I've basically told him he can have the house. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Literally, it's yours. And he just recently... Hey, it's a... He just Petey, recently paid... Petey, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's on video in public. <laughs> you got a house. It's his. He knows it. It's been that way all along. And, like, he just recently paid the school... The New York's... The, the school tax. Yeah. And I'm not joking. It was over $7,000 for the year. Wow. For school tax. That's not even a property tax. That was a school tax bill. You still got the homeowner's insurance, the property tax, the flood insurance. Yeah, but you, you have to admit, growing up in Island Park. It was great. It was great. And everybody knew everybody. everybody. Yeah. And you didn't have it, to lock your doors. You didn't have to lock your doors. And it's like, we didn't have cell phones back then. And we everyone knew major. where everyone was. We knew but, where it was. But we had what a lot of kids grow. I'm not going to say kids today growing up don't have it. But we definitely did. We, um, our parents were strict, without a doubt. Oh yeah, without a doubt. And they were, and they were hardworking people. You know, they they understood the value of a dollar, unlike a lot of us today. Um, but we also were lucky enough to have understanding parents. That, like, for argument's sake, we have a friend Keith who we grew up with. We called Bucky, right? And Keith's mom, Nora, who owned D and T Mirror and Glass. And they had the, they had the arcade. Yep, that, and, the, and his mom rented a, a, a building and made it an, an arcade called Berserk so that us kids had somewhere to go than like hanging on a street corner. That's the mentality of how these people operated. Yeah. That she was like, okay, and the, you know, it was 25 cents a game, whatever, and she employed us kids to work there. Yeah. You know, to hand out tokens. You know, like th that's the kind of neighborhood we grew up in. We had the Lazy Cow. Yeah, which is a drive-thru that you just go get. Uh, like milk, uh, eggs, beer, but, cigarettes. You know, th those towns, there's island parks all over the country. And people, all and people are going to comment below. Did you guys grow up in a town like that? Like like a place that, you know, I lived out in Wyoming. It was called Powell, Wyoming. It was like that. Everybody knew everybody. I think there's 5,000 people in the town and stuff. But the difference is this is New York. This is Long Island. Yeah. You know? We had a town of, what, 16,000 people? Living yeah, but town? we had the village. But then we had Long Beach next to us, which we had, we're right on the water. You're right you on know, the ocean. So, yep. so we could fish, we could do everything. One of the biggest reasons why I moved to Florida from New York was the fishing. Over there, yeah, you could fish, you know, for stripers. You know, I worked at a place called jo Jordan's Lobster Farm and everything. Which is still in existence. Which is still in existence. But I needed to fish all year round. And really... You know, without freezing. I'm not crazy about the cold and, you know, ice and all that stuff. And I could fish all year round. And I know the pitfalls of living on right on the water, especially right on the Gulf, um, where we are right now. But I'm willing to take that on. And I think a lot of New Yorkers that are moving down here are willing to take that stuff on just for the certain benefits. If you want to golf all year long. Yeah. If you want to fish all year long, if you're an outdoor person, bicycle, yeah. you know, what's the biggest drawback of Florida? It's, yeah, there's a few drawbacks and that's a whole video, but my, my, I was going to say humidity, humidity, humidity hands down is the biggest drawback. That's it's, it. It's the biggest drawback. So you, okay, right now, if I said, let's go to New York and visit everybody, because, you know, obviously we still have a lot of connections there. You won't go? No. You could, you could even say, hey, I'll buy the plane ticket, I'll rent you a Lamborghini, I'll pay for all the food, and I'll give you $1,000 a day. Why? And I still say no. Why? Oh, please. Why? It's the worst, people. The worst. Hey, that's, that's Angie's opinion. And all, all our and friends. I have, and I still have friends that live there. All our friends and family, especially the ones that still live in Allen Park. This is Angie saying that, not me. I still go back to Allen Park. I could, I could, we could drop names right now to get new subscribers. I won't, I won't use last names, but I'll, I could just use first names, and we'll, we'll name you all, and then you subscribe, and I could probably name a hundred people who still live there. And you know, granted, I understand it. If you're a cop, a fireman, a school teacher, you know that you live there, and you know, because you got to do your 20, 25 years to retire, and then you got to bolt out of that place. Whether you go to the Carolinas or Georgia, which most of them do, if they're police yeah. officers, firemen, they get out as fast as possible, which is because of the taxes.
But then there are a lot of people that I just don't understand that are like, you know, like I, I have a few friends that are in construction, building houses. Yeah. And like, uh, now I could be wrong here, but I would think that they would do a lot better here. You know, like rebuilding houses because there are a lot of houses being built or redoing them. Uh, than you would a, because of the environment, meaning the weather. Yeah, there's, there's, Long Island is more custom homes. Over here, it's more, you know, like Lenars and there's a whole, I can do a whole video on that subject. And I'm not going to go there. But anyways, obviously, I don't feel that way. I love going back to Ellen Park, seeing my family and my friends. So you guys still say hello to me when you see me. Who, who in your family still lives there? <laughs> everybody. My cousins. Really? Yeah, my cousins, my aunts. Everybody still lives there. I got a whole family there. And yeah. not in Island Park, though. In Island Park. Still in Island Park. They're uh, all still there. Island Park and Oceanside. Well, I, I knew Oceanside. I knew that, yeah. You know? Because so. Island Park has changed a lot. I know, but they still live there. But, you know, I don't want them to slam the door in my face, too. You know? No, they'll slam the door in my face. <laughs> Anyways, that's today's video. Do me a favor. Check out this video over here. I picked it out just for you guys. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day. See you later. Subscribe. Bye.